A message from the New Jersey State Bar Foundation. And welcome back to our special live edition of Sunday Edition and the part of the program we call Reporters Roundtable. I am sitting in what surely is Jim Jensen's favorite chair as steward of this uh, often boisterous group. Uh, joining uh, Ed Koch and me, our New York Daily News columnist Bob Herbert, Ghazi Kankan, director of the Voice of Islam Broadcasting System, and Channel 2 News political correspondent, of course, Josh Mankiewicz. Welcome, everybody. Let's uh, try boisterous to keep this... Boisterous is being kind. Yeah, so boisterous yeah. is being kind. All right, you had the first word. Let's start with you, Josh. <laughs> uh, let's look uh, big picture as you are want to do and look at the Bush presidency. Opinion polls going up. Are we going to see a graph starting Monday that peaks and... and well, I don't know when it's going to start. I mean, you're going to see the graph go down because no president stays at 83 percent or whatever it is. And the war is going very well now, which I think is something uh, that uh, all Americans are glad about. Uh, and we haven't uh, lost a lot of soldiers yet, but the ground war hasn't begun, and that's where real losses are going to happen. So, I mean, th there's a lot more going on here than presidential popularity, but uh, the support for the war and the president is at an all-time high now. It won't stay that do way. Do you st uh, still think that we made a mistake in going in uh, at this time, sure. which was your position? Sure. You do. Yes. Now, we yeah. have to be nice. We have a guest. Uh, guys I agree here. that we made a mistake uh, to go into there. We did not give peace a chance to work. We did not give the sanctions peace to work. And I think we have spoken enough about this massacre. It's not a Gulf War. It's a really a massacre because a giant United States is going after little David. The Goliath is going Why against David. Why doesn't little David uh, stop the war by surrendering? And if we are really against Saddam Hussein, as we keep saying, keep saying, why don't we uh, take care of him as uh, our senator was uh, saying? Why kill the whole uh, civilization of Iraq. It's the oldest civilization in the world. Well, I'm going to uh, disagree at this point. Um, <laughs> as you know, I made it clear that I didn't think that we should go in and attack at the time that we did. Nevertheless, we did. The United States is at war. I want the war won. I want the war won quickly, and I want the war won with as few American casualties as is possible. Uh, I am not viewing this as a massacre because certainly there were uh, incredible uh, provocations uh, leading to this war. Whether you felt that the time was right for the attack, there certainly was uh, ample reason for going in. Well, so look, I, I'm going to have to disagree on it, that point. It wouldn't be the first time we'd done this. We had uh, uh, taken out either physically or diplomatically a foreign leader, and certainly a lot of Americans are not only whispering this option, they're talking there's about it outright. Wrong with it. Why don't we kill the man, is there's what you're hearing on the screen. I don't know. Why, uh, now, why kill the whole population? Why because destroy they the can't country? Get him. Why, don't the, why don't the Iraqi <laughs> generals do to him what they tried to do uh, to Adolf Hitler, I assassinate am, I am him? I'm sure the CIA has uh, all kinds of leads to do that, but the main purpose of the war is not uh, really Saddam, it is to destroy Iraq you're absolutely because wrong. of Israel. You're absolutely wrong. And, let me and just we are fighting this war let me, for listen, Israel. Listen, let me just tell you why I think you're so wrong. Firstly, uh, the United States policy is to keep Israel out of uh, this war, and it's with great self-restraint that Israel has stayed out. Secondly, it is Saddam Hussein and the Iraqi who fired on civilian populations. That is unacceptable. The fact is the United States has tried desperately not to bomb uh, innocent uh, civilians. And uh, why is it uh, that uh, Saudi Arabia and Egypt and Kuwait have said that if Israel responds to Iraq, they do not believe that's wrong, although they hope it won't. Why do you think that they, those three confrontation states, would uh, not be upset uh, if Israel came in and uh, responded uh, to the attack upon it? Before anyone responds to that, yes. I am told that standing by uh, in uh, Israel are uh, two guys who have been listening intently to this conversation, <laughs> uh, Jim Jensen and Joe Klein. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you, Okay, Brian. Brian, we hear you. But I want to talk, I we, talk wait, about... But we have not heard the conversation you've just been having. It's Every, probably, it's probably a good thing, Jim. Uh, <laughs> I, heard, I just heard what Ed Koch was talking about, about the uh, absence of a response, and I want to reiterate what I said. Israel has responded by not responding, which was the most effective way to do it. I'd, uh, I'd ask Ed, how would you have Israel respond? Would you well, have I, them nuke I, Baghdad? I, I, would I, you have them try and take out... Uh, Joe, Hussein? I don't disagree. I think that what they're doing is absolutely correct. I am not uh, suggesting that they respond. How many uh, more planes do you need to uh, bomb? I don't think uh, that uh, they could uh, remove any more scuds than we are seeking uh, to remove for them. Ed, it I isn't think this Ed, is the Ed, wrong Ed, Ed, We're talking about Ed. the wrong conversation. What we should talk let's, about is peace. Wait a minute. How can we accomplish peace between the Israelis let's, and let's the let's Palestinians? Let's give, Jim a word. Is no I would let's give Jim a word in edgewise here from Israel. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Right. Ed, uh, it isn't a matter of 
putting more airplanes in the sky in terms of Israel making a response. It is a matter of the morale of the citizens of the country that they don't want to feel helpless in the face of missiles coming in. They want to feel that their government, their people, their pilots, their identity is, is doing something about it. You, you understand? are absolutely right, and that is why the Israeli government has to get special kudos uh, for not responding to an enormous political demand made upon them, which is perfectly reasonable. You know, Ed, and they may you know, ultimately have yes. to give in to that uh, demand. Ed, but I believe that they're like doing exactly that which they should be doing in responding affirmatively to President Bush's uh, request. What you have to I can identify. Is One is that it's, uh, it's uh, fallacious to assume at this point that Israel can't suffer any more attacks, even if we did end up taking out all the Scott sites. The second thing which you have to remember, which you don't ever talk about, is that none of these attacks would have happened this week if we hadn't attacked. Oh, that's so stupid. That's it's hard. Uh -huh. It doesn't even uh, bear response. Yeah, I know. No. I'm going to try. And let me tell you one other that, thing. Yes. The big difference between yeah. this and Adolf Hitler yeah. is that we didn't support Adolf Hitler yeah. before he was in power. And, nothing, and nobody ever this, tried. To, no, no, let me finish. Let please, me finish. Sure. Uh, and that nobody ever tried sanctions against Adolf Hitler. I'll you and other politicians have been allowed to cast this debate yeah. as either attacking or doing yeah. nothing. But we weren't doing nothing. We had sanctions okay. on, which might have taken right. as let, much let, as a year to work, but they would eventually let, have let worked me, let, me, let me respond I, to that. Terms, let me respond, and then you respond. And then we the fact go to is, go let me respond first. We had no the fact uh, uh, is, the fact uh, is uh, that uh, Israel, Egypt, Saudi Arabia uh, wanted us to take action now because they believed Listen. that the longer we delayed, the stronger well, would Saddam Hussein become. Jim, and most go, Americans yeah, believe that as well. Jim Jensen. Listen, it Jim cost Jensen. us a lot to put this satellite up in the air, yeah. so you got to give us a chance to talk. That's right. Otherwise, it's for nothing. Joe. <laughs> I want to respond to what I want to respond to what Josh was saying just uh, before. No matter what we each thought about the road to this moment, we're here now. We're at war, and uh, the th and we should be thankful that the American response has been measured. It, we haven't been bombing civilians. How it's been know, very how civilized. How do you know that, Joe? Exactly. How, how do we know, know we've been bombing? We, we, know that from, we know that because hits. because we watched CNN here in Israel the way we were where you guys did back but in the states. But they're not releasing any pictures night. except the direct hits. Exactly. We, they we, said we, eighty percent were hits. What about the other 20%? They Joe, have gone uh, into civilian yes, population. It, and that's I'll why I say this is it. a real massacre. Would you let me respond? Do you want to know how we know it? The way we know it is this. Baghdad kicked all the Western correspondents out. Believe me, if they were bombing civilian neighborhoods, they would be parading the Western press before those neighborhoods. You know, the reason why they kicked exactly the Western right. press out was because we were doing this in a civilized way in comparison to the kind of terror bombing that Saddam Hussein has been doing here in Israel. Listen, don't, you so, guys, Ryan, Ryan, don't you guys believe Ryan, there's something the called a problem, just war, and problem, this is yeah. a just war? I do believe Ed, it, but I don't Ed, know can this you, is can, can, can you agree with me that the whole problem wouldn't have come up if we had 40 years ago solved the Palestine-Israel conflict? Well, that is that's not that's why that's Saddam Hussein went that into Kuwait. The, I just problem. wanted to remind Joe Klein two points. This is not by way of disagreeing outright. Number one, all the civilians aren't just in Baghdad, and number two, That's you right. can't bomb with B-52s with the accuracy uh, of an F-111, of an F-16, of an F-15. Thank you. You just but can't the, drop but the that missile much. Attacks, the missile attacks have been terrorist attacks. They were nowhere near military on, right. targets. On just nowhere civilian, near on at just all. civilian targets. Agreed. Right. Agreed. But, but, but also, the might Even of the United States going over this third world country is also a terrorism. So let them get out of Kuwait. Don't That's you right. realize I mean, what they have? Did we they, give him a chance? They, they, we did not we give him a chance. They engaged in the war. They were given a chance to withdraw. We only gave him an okay. ultimatum. And All right, that's we not have to. Way. We're going to lose the satellite. We know that we knew this was right, happening. Wait, one to, no, uh, 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 Jim, we're gonna we're gonna lose the satellite. We won't hear another word from you two. So at this point, uh, sadly, we have to go to a commercial break. Give us a last wave right. goodbye. Uh, let us all wish Thank you good you. health. Be careful to the both of you and our, our Channel 2 crew over there. And we'll have more of Reporters Roundtable uh, when we continue.